Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Thank you for tuning into the channel. On today's episode, I'm gonna look at some miniature monsters that I bought from Safari Limited. These are pre-painted table ready to go. Just drop them in on your players. They're having a really good sale. I got some miniatures, I think as low as $4. I'll have to check the receipt. So let's take a look and see how these scale with traditional tabletop gaming miniatures for your D&D game, Kings of War, Frostgrave, Ghost Archipelago, whatever you want to play. Let's see if these scale for them. By the way, this label looks as almost as redacted as the Mueller report. And here is the box. So did anyone ever read uh, William Gibson's Neuromancer? There was a mercenary. It's a cyberpunk novel. There's like bionics and stuff. And there's a mercenary named Molly. She had fake nails, but outside of the nails, these little blades would pop out. So she'd be like, snicked, kind of like Wolverine, like snicked. So let's pretend that we're Molly and cut this out. Okay, so I thought this would have prices on there, but it just mentions what I bought. And I got the Greek mythology bundle. I got, a, oh, the gnome mom, because I love gnomes, a cyclops and a centaur. Okay, so here is everything. You can tell right now the centaur looks to be a little bit big, but I think stuff is gonna work out. Okay, so here we go. Uh, just a little quick overview. I can tell right now the centaur is probably gonna be way too big. And the no mom, I did not get this for D&D. Okay, so I'll just pull her out because I got her because I collect gnomes. So let's take it. Let's see what we got here. So the first one to take a look at is the Cyclops. Really good paint job, I think, for, for what it is. I think it's a great paint job. It's not a commission piece by any means, but it looks great, I think. I think it looks pretty cool. And let's see the size. Each one of these squares is an inch. So one, two, three, four, four and a half inches. Uh, four and a half inches in D&D would be like, what, 22 feet or something? Here's our inches, one, two, three, four, five. So about four and a half inches. And four and a half inches in D&D equals, I don't know, five, 10, 15, 20, 22 and a half feet tall for the Cyclops. I think that's a pretty good size for D&D. I'll have to get out the monster manual and we can take a look. Uh, the eyeball, kind of kind of cartoony. Um, it's got a little bit of a sneer going on. The weapon's pretty cool. Greek style sandals, I think that's a nice touch. I like a Greek style. It's got some grime, I guess, from working. And uh, this interesting little hairdo. So uh, there's your the Cyclops. Okay, here's the centaur. And I can tell right now from, from this size, he's just too big for a D&D. But I thought it was a cool miniature anyway, so. Oh, look at this packaging. What, what do we have here? Wow, 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 it's a force field. Um, he's got kind of a, got a goatee or something going on here. Okay, so let's take a look and see what he looks like. I think the eyes might need a little retouching, but everything else looks pretty pretty cool. As far as the paint job goes. And he is a wielding a mace. He must be the cleric. He's like the centaur healer. So the centaur would not be a good size for D&D. 
but I think it's a cool cool thing anyway and it was uh, it was affordable this is the Greek bundle I think that's what they called it Greek mythology bundle I was gonna say is it Greek active or Greek passive but it's the neither it's a Greek mythology bundle so the Greek bundle had a variety of minis and and it also came with the Cyclops because I wanted to. My players are getting up there in level and I can't just toss one of them. One. Okay, so first up is the Minotaur, which is also, damn it, too big. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he's like a 20 foot tall Minotaur. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look in the D&D manual, but I don't remember, I don't think Minotaurs are 20 feet. I think they're like eight, seven. The reason why I got him is because I have another Minotaur from Safari from a tubes. It's from one of their little tubes. So the reason why I got him is because I have another uh, tubes Minotaur, which I used for a scenario I wrote called Minotaur Likes Tartar, and I'll go ahead and put a card up there for that. He is too big for D&D. &D. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he'd be a 20 foot tall Minotaur. So unless you wanted like a giant Minotaur, which is a possibility for D&D, &D, I think he's a little too big. If we look, he is He's almost the size of the Cyclops. So yeah, that's a little, little on the extreme big side. But I really do enjoy the sculpt. I like uh, this kind of, this Greek thing going on here. And then there's a, uh, really a girdle. Hmm. And then they got this weird, this uh, leather daddy harness going on here, which he's wearing backwards. That usually goes in the front. I don't know. It's like suspenders. It's like part later hosen, <laughs> part leather daddy <clears throat> with a Greek style kilt. Anyway, I think it's a cool look, just not the right size. Darn it. Oh well. Live and learn. Here's the other Cyclops. I already unboxed that one, so it's the same. And let's see what this is. Okay, here we go, yes. I think that would be probably maybe a decent size. For 5, 10, 15, 20, no, that still would probably be too big. 5, 10, 15, yeah, it's 15, 20 feet tall. That's also too big. Here is another be good if you wanted to stat this up for yourself stat this up on your own it'd be pretty good but still for D&D too big unless you're doing like a giant campaign these are all too big so I guess out of all these the only ones that I could really use would be the Cyclops well that's uh, only for D&D that is Unless I wanted to stat out a giant Minotaur, which I just might do. Could be the Minotaur deity or something. Roar. So I went ahead and got a variety of miniatures from my collection. I did this so you can see the scale of the miniatures put together next to the Safari Limited. Some of these we do make, like these snow goons are what we make. So you can see how our stuff scales. And here I went and dug out some other miniatures so that we can compare and contrast. Here is the Minotaur from the tubes that I mentioned earlier. If you're not familiar, Safari has this brand called Tubes. Oh look, it's the exact same sculpt. See, that's why I thought, I thought he would be this size. And this size actually works. This, this size from the tube, this sculpt from the tube, scales perfectly for minis. So that's why I thought these two guys would be the same size. Because it is the same sculpt, just painted better. And here is, here's the Archon miniature in scale. So it's ginormous by comparison to a mini. 
And here we can see how the miniatures would scale. Like I said, I have a variety of manufacturers. Here is an actual licensed D&D miniature for a giant. Scale-wise, this giant would be like 20 feet tall or something. So there we go. We can see how that matches up. Over here, I have the two Minotaurs from Safari, both sculpted by Safari. So when I purchased the big Minotaur, I thought I would be getting something this size, but I was mistaken. We can see the hippograph here, and I'm gonna put that next to this. What we have, we have a zombie reindeer, which scales. This is the perfect D&D scale for minis. You can see how that reindeer scales. So I'm gonna put our zombie reindeer next to the hippograph so you can see the huge size difference between the two. Here are some other centaur miniatures made for D&D compared in scale to that miniature. You can see how huge that one is. So th this would be a really good, if you had a god, a deity, a minotaur deity, I could see this being a good minotaur deity. Um, let's see, I'll turn this. This one does not want to stay up, but I think that's a really funny, funny beholder. And there we go. There are side by side a variety of manufacturers for the miniatures. So everyone can get an idea of how these scale up or in some cases don't scale up. But still, that's a really cool figure to have, I think. I uh, enjoy these miniatures, the figures from all of these companies. So I'm not really too upset if it doesn't scale. And lastly, I forgot to include in this the Amy Schumer Garden Gnome. So yeah, the Garden Gnome Mom is Amy Schumer. As a garden gnome. Totally Amy Schumer. So there you go. There you have it. Enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, tune to the notification bell. Thank you and have a good one and stay safe out there.